Uh, good morning, everyone. I uh, realize that I think I may have made a mistake uh, with your um, Moodle this morning. Uh, up until about 8.30 this morning, uh, the Moodle <coughs> had it written on what is your class content description that we would be on demand today. And only until about 8.30 did I notice that mistake. And then I corrected it to the fact that I wanted to see you in Zoom today. So I'm very sorry about that. But at least uh, we'll have this uh, Moodle for you to watch afterwards. And don't worry, if you weren't able to come to the class because you saw that it was on demand and you thought, oh, good, I don't have to come to class, I won't be taking, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, I won't be taking attendance today. So don't, don't worry about it. But there are a few things that we need to talk about. Uh, one of them, you have a few extra assignments today. Uh, you always have your textbook video lecture and uh, photo upload, so don't forget to do that today. But you have three new um, assignments. <coughs> One of them is your second language lounge activity. So um, I gave this to you very early, like I did the last one, and you could tell by the, the, the first one uh, what uh, I said is the last one, uh, by, you could tell by the first one that um, the language lounge gets very, very busy. Even if it's just our class, uh, we have like 22, 29, 25 students all thinking about when they're going to do this language lounge activities. Um, about four or five students always leave it to the last minute, but a lot of you will try to do this, <coughs> pardon me, at different times. So um, try to get this done early. And if you try to get it done early and it's still very busy, well, that's okay. You still have extra time. But if you wait until the last minute, that's when it gets very difficult because everybody, a lot of people, wait until the last minute. Your due date for this is just before Christmas break. Um, a lot of teachers that are teaching uh, 4C give this language lounge activity in January or just at the end of December. And I want you to have this finished by the end of December so you don't end up trying to compete for the same language lounge times, uh, appointments uh, that everybody else is. So I want this in by December 22nd, okay? Next, uh, you have your reading quiz. This one will be a Moodle quiz. So you'll be answering questions on Moodle. You won't have to write anything. So it's not so much a reading writing quiz. It's going to be a reading quiz. You have to read all the way through uh, chapter eight and then through chapter 10. And uh, you have to understand the reading. So it's only a <coughs> Moodle quiz. You don't have to write anything, but you have to be able to understand the readings. And because the quiz um, is for eight, nine, and 10, chapter eight, nine, and 10, then that means that we probably won't be actually assigning chapter 10 until around the end of January. So the due date is um, February the 3rd. But you know, a little by little, try to take a look at uh, chapter eight, nine, and 10 and uh, get ready to take this quiz because uh, it, it will be a little bit difficult if you don't understand the reading, okay? Last assignment this week is your mid-semester survey. Uh, you don't have to say your name. You can stay anonymous because I want to get, the university wants to get your honest opinion on all of these problems. Uh, or, um, or whatever you want to say about your class. If you have a criticism about the way I teach or something you like about the way I teach, you can write it all on here, okay? <coughs> now, um, today, I hope we have enough people. It doesn't look like we do. We only have seven people, but maybe we'll try to do a little bit with seven people uh, and see how that goes uh, in terms of the uh, fluency exercises that I want to do with you. Uh, don't forget, if you ever want to email me, my email is always at the top of the class right there, jdmcruisegmail.com. And um, if you have any questions, you can stay at the end of this class and talk to me then too. But uh, here's my email if you need anything. Okay, thanks very much.